All right. My first guest, beautiful and talented young actress who can be seen every Monday night in the hugely popular show, Ally McBeal. Please welcome Courtney Thorne Smith. You look lovely. Oh, thank you so much. And I understand you have some very exciting news you want to share with us. It is very exciting news. Yep. I got engaged. You got engaged. I got engaged. That's why I'm here. Because I was watching the other night and Courtney Cox was on. Right, right. She got engaged. She got a present. She did get a present. Yeah, so I'm here for my present. Well, we'll see. I might have something for you. I want to know a, a little bit. Like, first, I want to know a little bit about this young man. All right. First of all, I hope you kids haven't jumped the gun. <laughs> now, what happened to that other guy? Remember last time you were here, there was some other guy. <laughs> that seems very It was so you. long ago that I was here. It was a long time ago. And that other so guy is gone. It was long uh, ago. Uh, he's, he's, he's yes, I've on. killed him. Okay. Now, this new guy, what does he do? Is he an actor? No, he's not. He's actually he's a scientist. A scientist? Really? Yeah. Is that what he told you at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> what is he working on? What How am I going to test him? How am I going to quiz him, really? Is that his full-time job, a scientist? Yeah. And he works in a lab all day? He owns a company. He's a very successful scientist. Oh, he owns a that's company. That's the kind you want. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Now, what does he do? Make PCP in his home? What does he do? What kind of <laughs> I, mean, I mean, where is his lab? Have you been to the lab? No, I have not been. You've never seen the lab that he has. <laughs> <laughs> like when he leaves in the morning, where does he go? I actually, I leave first, so he's, he's still there when I leave. Okay, when you come home and then he comes home, what happens? No, it's a very good point, because he's actually there when I get home. He's there, really. And, <laughs> and he knows the whole plot line to Days of Our Lives. <laughs> okay, now, apparently they okay. watch it at the lab, apparently. Well, that's, a, of course, yeah. that, that's part yeah. of a scientist's work, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Really, and he's a scientist, but you don't know where the lab is? What does he work on? What kind of project? Oh, it's so hard to explain. It's when I first started dating him and I was yeah. trying to figure out what he did, yeah. I jokingly said to my family, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to separate, and each of you is going to ask what he does, and then we're going to meet at the end of the night and see if we can figure it out together. And, of course, we sit down, and the first thing that my brother-in-law says is, so Courtney doesn't understand what you do. And did he explain it? Yes, then he explained it, and oh, we all understood. Okay. We, all we all worked understood. together to understand it. Now, how did you meet? Where did you meet? Did you meet at some Blind scientific... Date. Oh, my boy. sister set us up. My sister and my brother-in-law. Now, now, you don't look like you would need a blind date. I mean, you're an attractive woman. You're on a show. You're successful. I didn't, I didn't want to go on the date. Yeah. I was taking time off from dating. I said, right. no, no. My sister pushed for months and months and months. And finally, we hit about February. Yeah. And Andy, my fiance. The fiance. The scientist. The scientist um, lives on the beach. And so Jen starts saying, look. Wait a look. minute. He's a scientist who lives on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> You think Juan of Van Braun ever even went to the beach? <laughs> All right. So he's a scientist. Does he surf? Yes, he surfs. <laughs> he's the perfect man. He's I'm sorry. Man. I know it's hard for you to well, handle, but he is the perfect he's man. He's a scientist who surfs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he lives on the beach. On a trailer? He lives on the beach. <laughs> Was he like Rockford? Does he have a... <laughs> no, what, does he have a house? Or does he just does he live on the... Does he, he live physically on the house. beach? <laughs> he lives physically on the beach. <laughs> Oh, he has, he has a house? <gasps> yes, he has a house. Oh, okay. He actually has a house. And my sister said to me at the time, I kept saying, no, I don't want to be set up. Blind dates aren't fair yeah. for me because they're yeah. not really blind. I'm right. not going to, I'm not going to. She said, Courtney, they're not really it's blind. February. <laughs> if things go well, by May, we could have a family beach house. Think of the family. Oh, <laughs> so I actually, I bowed to that pressure. Oh, okay. So have you been to the house, this beach house? <laughs> You've seen it? Yes, I have. Okay. I have been to the okay, house. Okay, you've been to the beach. Okay, I just want to establish at the house. <laughs> so where did he, how did you guys propose? Was it over a Bunsen burner or something? What did he propose? <laughs> Tell me, I want to know the whole story. You want a fireworks story like Courtney Cox When Courtney like, Cox was here, she told me David Arquette took her out on a beautiful barge on the river, shot off tens of thousands of dollars worth of, fi dollars worth of fireworks. Mm -hmm. The skies lit up, their eyes met. There was an embrace, a kiss, a beautiful ring was presented. I imagine the scientist did something similar. What, he split the atom? What did he do? What did he do? Did he do something? Mm -hmm. What did he do? How did he propose? Well, had he thought of splitting the atom for me, of course he would have. Right, right. However, um, we were sitting in bed and he said, do you want your present? You're sitting in bed. Okay, okay. Yeah, sitting up in bed. Sitting up in bed. Reading. Reading. Okay. Of course. It's off to a good start. Yeah. Okay. On our way back from doing charity work. Okay. Yeah. And, um... I just hope you kids don't jump the gun. That's <laughs> no, all I have. of course not. So many girls, they jump not. the gun. All right, okay. So you're, so you're sitting up in bed, and he says, 
you want he your said, present. do you want your present? And I said, well, that's not really fair, because of course I want a present. Yeah. And he said, it comes with strings. And then I knew. Oh. And I said, um, I said, OK. And he gave me the ring. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't it see. beautiful? Yeah. You... He, had, he actually had my sister in on it, and he kept going over to my oh, sister's what's, house what's to look H at rings. Oh, what? shopping <laughs> network. It's a, no, I'm cheating. No, it's a, it's a very nice ring. So your sister knew ahead of time? My sister knew, and she, I would go over there and I'd say, you know, he's hinting, and it's driving me crazy, and she would actually say things. Like, I would say to my niece something about Uncle Andy, and Jen would say, you know, Court, I'm not really comfortable with you saying Uncle Andy till you guys get more serious. And she oh. knew. Oh, okay. Isn't that awful? She should spy for the government. Well, no, that's good. Well, that's good. But you wouldn't have wanted to know, would you? Isn't it more fun to get the surprise? Well, now it was more fun to get the surprise, but then I wanted to know. I do have know. a gift for you. You do? Yes, I do. Because I know, you, 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 last time we here, you told me you love the Price Club or Costco. You like... Rich, can I give you one thing really quickly? Yes. Is that Because I that... got you actually a gift at the Price Club. Because I know you don't get to go there, and you would if you could. Oh. It's seven pounds of liquid cheese. Oh, thank you. Isn't that lovely? Isn't this lovely? Yeah. You can never have enough liquid cheese. Well, this is... Just give me a moment. <laughs> Well, this is beautiful. What See? a lovely lunch. And I have something for you. I know really? you love bulk shopping. I do. And this is something Apparently. I got in bulk. Bring it in, fellas. Come on in. This is a couple of hundred. Years. It is white like so a rabbit, and, and, and you can do light sanding with this. It's a very light, light memory book. Well, let me congratulate you on, on Thank Allie you McBeal, so and, much. and congratulations on, on your on your wedding and all that stuff. And, thank and, and you. next time, maybe he'll, you'll bring him along next time. Oh, really? The all right. Great. All right, sure. Well, thanks a lot. Great job. Thanks. Be right back with Ainsley Harriet right after this.